Hey guys, it's Bobby Legs and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today I have an update, uh, a collection update video. This is not a state of the collection per se. I want to keep those to the beginning of the year in January and then maybe a mid-year report in July. This is just an update because a few weeks back I made a video about how I was going to consolidate or sell some pieces in my collection, bring the uh, the total number down, and uh, and then maybe save up uh, or take those proceeds and save up and buy uh, a piece that I've been chasing for a really long time. Whether you use the term grail or not, I'm not going to judge. Uh, I use the term loosely. Some people are more strict with that. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter. It means like a piece that I've been chasing for a long time and saving up for. And I had built some... Uh, watch uh, equity I think and so I was able to sell some pieces but things got a little crazy so uh, gone is the Tudor Black Bay uh, 58 blue and the Zen 856 I also sold the Tron uh, Casio G-Shock Tron um, I sold um, the Zelos uh, swordfish that I had I also um, sold uh, the Gravity Master uh, and a couple, uh, I think there was a, a Seiko in there um, that I also sold. Uh, so I started consolidating and and and, uh, and I started buying G-Shocks. Like, my, uh, this is crazy. This is bananas right here. I don't know what happened. I, I, I just started buying G-Shocks. Uh, the so the the gravity master uh, made me realize that I can definitely handle um, much more than a square, and I'm into squares, and I still always like squares. Uh, I still always prefer them, uh, but the gravity master really changed things up uh, for me. Um, and uh, and I ended up getting okay. You know what? Before before. <laughs> Before I start going off on a tangent, let me uh, ask you guys to, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon every time uh, to get notifications every time I upload new videos. I love making these videos, guys, and I hope you like them too. So let's let's go from the top down. And I just, it, this has nothing to do with, with price. These are all G-Shocks, and this is a 12-watch uh, watch box. And so I have six of them, so it fits nicely here. It could have been up here too. I don't know why it just was down here. So this is not a, a tiered system, uh, per se. But you know the Tudor Black Bay 58 was going to stay. This is the Gino Series 40 uh, Classic Chronograph. I've been off and on about selling this piece. Um, you know it's still available. Um, it's still available uh, for sale. Um, so anyway, um, if you're interested. Uh, please reach out to me. I'm back to 1400. I talked to my my concierge and and I had I was thinking of uh, lowering the price down a couple hundred bucks and and he was like you know what are you doing you know what I mean this this you shouldn't get anything less than 1400 for it. So if I don't get 1400, I'll keep it. If I get 1400, I'll, I'll sell it. So um, so this is you know could stay or could go. The GP I had put up, and I thought this was going to be the last watch I would be able to sell on a face either. I don't know why. It's just that there's not a lot of people who, who know Gerard Pargo or or know about the Seahawk. You know, you have to have a specific um, collector uh, who, will, who will actually uh, be like, yes, you know, I want that. And I had and somebody, <laughs> and somebody reached out to me. It was the first watch that I had agreed to sell when I decided to pare down the collection but I told Mrs. Legs and Mrs. Legs bought me the strap and the buckle and it was in the buckle was a GP buckle and it, it's a pretty penny and uh, she bought it for me uh, for one Christmas as a gift and and I guess you know it had sentimental value for her this watch used to have a lot of sentimental value for me it was the first luxury watch I bought but the one watch that I'm chasing I've been chasing for so long that um, I was ready to part ways with this and so Mrs. Uh, Legs said nope and um, you know you typically I don't let her you know uh, dictate what watches I buy and sell um, but she did buy this uh, rubber strap and the buckle and spent a pretty good penny on it so um, fair enough fair enough so she went out the Panerai sentimental value that was always going to stay uh, as well um, so let's go back to the G-Shocks. And so 
I have this guy. I have this guy. This is the 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 5600, the DW, whatever it is. I'm terrible with the uh, model numbers. I will maybe include them on the video. I, I will include them in the video because these I don't even know off the top of my head. I, I, I always had this. This is the beater. This is always going to stay. I picked up this one. This is a 5610. And with a negative display, it came on a combi. And I was just, I, I bought it for the combi. Uh, strap um, so I could harvest it and maybe put out something but you know I just like this watch so much you know and um, I love I love I'm into the negative displays so um, I'm keep uh, you know I kept it on here and I'm keeping it I'm keeping this watch I mean like it, it was just you know it's too good it's too comfortable um, so then I got the the gravity master I ended up selling that because my buddy Michael uh, sent in the Mudmaster to review, and I was just like, okay, I totally can wear this, and I like this Mudmaster better than I like uh, the Gravity Master, so I picked one up um, from Jishako, uh, I think that's how you say his channel name, Jishako, he's from Chicago, um, anyway, so I picked this one up, and, and it's great, and, uh, and actually, this is now uh, for sale, uh, I love this watch, but I'll get to it further along this video why this is up for sale. So anyway, this is up for sale. Um, and then, man, I've been chasing for at least six months, maybe to a year, off and on, a titanium square. Um, I really wanted one. And I just, I couldn't make that leap. Um, I uh, There were a couple that came up for sale in this uh, watch group that I'm in. And um, I just took too long to pull the trigger on any of them, and they they sold, and they were at you know good prices, and and uh, and so after I had sold the the watches that I had mentioned before, I had some cash on me, and this came up, and it was a it was a good price, it was a fair price, and uh, I had to jump on it, the the camo, the black camo square, and it's it's awesome. It's awesome, and I had a wonderful day and a half with it until Mrs. Legs was like, nope, I want that watch. So she claimed it. <laughs> Mrs. Legs loves camo and Wu-Tang Clang. So um, I was like, okay, all right, I, I guess, you know. And, you know, basically I, I, I acquiesced and, and, and let her have it. Um, but, uh, you know, there's some battles that, that you don't need to fight, you know, not that there would have been a battle, but, uh, it's the old nine tenths rule. You give up, you know, nine times to get that 10th one that you want. Um, not necessarily about watches, but about anything. So I, I've been sticking with that kind of philosophy. <laughs> so, um, anyway, it's here and I put it in here because it, it still is my watch. Um, and then I, I started getting even crazier. Uh, I picked up, I, I liked, I love this frog, man. I know, I know, like the Frogman um, fans uh, maybe not be a, are a big fan of this one uh, because of the analog display. It's not, there's no digital, but I, uh, I love the way this looks and the way this fits, and it, it's got some heft. Now I'll, I'll do a review on this. I also will do a review on the the camo square. Um, but this was great. Um, it was the MSRP was 800. I went to the specific site that um, was having a make me an offer weekend. So I made an offer on this, kind of not thinking, kind of thinking that I had a, maybe a 10% chance of them accepting it, and uh, and they accepted it. So um, I'm pretty happy with the price that I got this. Uh, brand new, it's awesome. Uh, I really, really like it. And that's one of the reasons why I'm... Uh, I'm willing to sell this. So I, I, ha, I, I have this up uh, for sale, um, 110 bucks. It, it, there's no boxes, no manuals, because uh, I got it from Jishashu Go, and he usually sells stuff with all the stuff in it, um, full kit, but this one wasn't. And, um, and so I got it for uh, a decent price, and uh, like I said, $110. If anybody's interested, please reach out. $1,400, $110. Now that is also another th the other second reason why I'm selling it is because all right well you know what sorry let's let's leave that for last because this is crazy um and then I picked this one up um you know I I have this my wife bought a Peloton about 
seven or eight years ago, she quit smoking. And then for a year or two, she put five bucks in a piggy bank every day. Um, and then she bought herself a, a Peloton. And so they have this, and I, and I use it every once in a while, but now I want to get back into using it more. I'm easing off the weights a little bit and doing more cardio for, for heart reasons. I have a history of heart uh, disease in the family. <clears throat> so I kind of want to avoid that. I want to live a long time so my kids can grow up and, you know, have a dad when I get older. Um, so um, they have a, a heart rate monitor that straps around your chest and it's not really that comfortable. So I decided to pick this one up because this has a heart rate monitor. And uh, I'm going to do a video comparing the two. Um, while I do uh, a, a ride and and, uh, and and see what the results, see if they, they, they match or if they're close or if it's all BS. Um, anyway, this has a ton of functionality that I will never know how to use. Um, it's primarily a, a device for running, um, So, but I think you could use it for, for whatever kind of form of exercise. I was uh, chopping wood today and I, and I put it on and uh, to see if my heart rate got up. And my heart rate got, got up pretty good. I was chopping wood for about maybe... 20 minutes to half an hour and uh, my heart rate I think I I saw it was up to like almost 125 um, 130 but I'm I'm also I'm also cardiovascularly out of shape so uh, but whatever it was a good workout you know no complaints so um, and then so getting back to the Mudmaster the second reason why I'm selling it is because since I couldn't well I'm SOL with the titanium camo i i picked up a uh the original uh titanium g-shock square um the black one um the all black and that is coming in the mail <laughs> at the end of the week so i'm going g-shock crazy man i i sell a couple of watches because i want to buy the big one and then i end up getting you know all these so um not pictured is the Islander Red October that I sent it out to my buddy um, Chris over at the Watch Lounge to review. And not pictured is the Steinhardt Regulator. Uh, that has a whole story to it. And uh, I'll be doing a video on it soon. So anyway, guys, I uh, did this as an update. If you're interested, um, I figured I'd share it with you. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video.